Yeah, children. So in the heredity and evolution, in heredity and evolution, children, today we will discuss about sex determination. Sex determination. Very, very important topic, children. So many times they have asked the inbox question on this channel. Sex determination. Please check children. So children, normally we discuss so many times in male, in female, male gametes are sperms. Male gametes are sperms. And in females, female gametes are ova. Female gametes are ova. Okay, children. Sperm will have 23 chromosomes. Ova will have 23 chromosomes. 24, 3 plus 23, 46 zygote will come, and that will be a, 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 that will be a future fetus or baby. Child. So now, what I mean to say is, listen, children. If you see chromosomal constitution, 46 chromosomes are there. In this 46, try to understand, children. 44 are called autosomes. Autosomes means they don't involve in sexual reproduction. They don't involve in reproduction. Two are there, plus two. They are called allosomes. Some people will say they are somatic also, children. Anything, whatever it is, they don't involve in reproduction. Two only will involve in reproduction. So, in males and in females, that two, 44 plus two, that two chromosomes, in males it will be XY. In females, it will be XX. The two extra chromosomes which involve in reproduction in the sperm and ova, it will be X and Y. This is in females, it is X and Y. So during fertilization, sperm and ova will unite. From male, if X come. From female, if X come, then XX, female baby will be coming. Or if from male X comes, if from female compulsory X only, there is no other option. XX, chance of again female baby. From male if Y comes. And from female X only, there is no other chance. So XY, then male baby will come. If from male Y comes and female always male baby. So four options will be there children. 50% female option is there. 50% male option is there children. No one can guess on this earth whether it is going to be a male or female. No one. Okay, after baby is born, uh, uh, like after a woman be become pregnant in third month, fourth month, we can tell what is the sex of baby. But uh, before, during fertilization, when she become pregnant only, whether she is going to get male or female or no one can tell because it depends upon from males. What is coming? X is coming now, A is coming now. If from males X is coming, it will be compulsory female. If from males Y is coming, compulsory it will be male. We are able to understand children. So normally, children in our orthodox society, normally women are women are most time humiliated. Children, in, if you go to older days, uh, women, if she give birth to female baby, uh, in olden days I am telling, not now, in now also, it's maybe after in some societies, we don't know. But they used to blame the mother. Why you give birth to female baby? Why you give birth to female baby? They used to torture in laws. In some orthodox society, not, I am not saying here, don't take it uh, anyone's uh, personal, I am telling children. Why you give birth to a female baby? Means what mother will do? What female will do? How she know? In fact, female don't have, mother don't have any role in sex of a baby. Who will decide the sex of a baby? Father. It's father sperms will decide the sex of a baby children. Mother don't have any role. And mother and father don't exist. Not there in hands. Come. In father, anything can come. If X is coming, it will be a female. If Y is coming, it will be a male. Neither male nor female can't do anything. And seriously, by scientific reason, if you see, it is not the mistake of mother only to give birth to female baby. It's the mistake of male. It's not mistake, children, I'm just saying. But then in olden days, they used to torture women. Why you give birth to female babies? They used to say. And so many incidences. You know, female feticide rampant in India. Rampant. That's why you know children in hospitals, if you go, they will not, doctor is not allowed to tell the sex of a baby in third month. 
they will not reveal. If you reveal doctor, doctor will be punished, license will be cancelled, hospital is sealed. In foreign countries they will say, but in our India they won't say children. Why? It's the orthodox society. Female will say, oh, something, something will happen. We have to bring her up, oh, dowry, doctor, this, all bad thoughts will be there. Ah, we want so many males. Why? My means that all males will grow up and they will learn, they will give us that, this, they think some. Our society is like that, our mindset is like that. Not everyone, some people. Okay, well, th that is not our issue, children. Here I want to say is female don't have any role in the sex of the baby. Male sperm, sex or Y only will decide the sex of the baby. So in board exam, if this question comes, you have to say male have XY chromosomes, female has XX chromosomes. If, <coughs> if X of a male unites with the X of a female, then female baby will come. If Y of a male and X of female unite, then male baby is going to come. You have to write and you have to draw this chart and you have to show children. This is sex determination, children. This is sex determination. Okay, children? And apart from this, children, uh, there are some animals where temperature. Temperature plays a role in deciding the sex of a baby. If you go to lizards, if you go to turtles, they both are reptiles, children. Here, lizards also will lay, turtles also will lay, children. In lizards, if a mother lizard give more temperature to egg, male lizard will come. Less temperature is given, female lizard will come. Whereas in turtles, opposite. If more temperature is given, females will come. If less temperature is given, males will come, children. In turtles, mother will incubate the egg. I hope everyone know. Mother will sit on the egg. It will, mother will give incubation, warmth, warmth, incubation. During giving incubation, if mother animal gives more temperature, male, less temperature, female. It happens in some of the animals, just I'm sharing. And you know snail, no children, snail is such an organism which can change its sex according to the surroundings. It can change its sex also, children. And if both sex organs are there in the same animal, it is called homophoride. Well, the famous example is uh, earthworm, is a homophoride, earthworm leeches. They have both male and female sex organs. Okay, children. So this is something about sex determination. I want to discuss males. Forty, uh, uh, you know, all human beings. Forty-six chromosomes are there. Forty-four are called autosomes. Two are called allosomes. In these two, in males it is XY. In females it is XX. Children. If X of male will come out, then compulsory female baby. If Y of a male will come out and fuse, then compulsory male. So male and female chances 50 50 percent only. No one can decide, no one can judge, no one can tell whether mother is going to have a female or male children. No one can decide, no one can prejudice and tell that this is going to happen. No one. Because it is chemical reactions which are occurring during fertilization. It is inevitable and we can't control the chemical reaction fertilization which is occurring. This is sex determination. Three marks question. Compulsory, you have to draw this chart. Children. Compulsory, very, very important question. In fact, first uh, number one question in this lesson, children. Any tension body that they have asked about the sex determination. Anyone have any doubts? You can ask.